We feel that the federal government has completely overstepped its bounds. We, we want the Supreme Court of our state to be able to, to help us in getting the federal government out of our state's business. I think this, we can say that this is the most important election that we've had in our lifetimes. Our rights have clearly been, been under assault. We, and we in Michigan have felt that pain more than any other state in this country. And if we're going to reestablish Michigan as a leader of this world and of our, our nation, we need to make sure that we elect the right people this fall. And Justice Young is at the top of the list of the people that we have to, have to elect. There's this Mark Brewer who's trying to brew up all kinds of garbage. I am going to be on this judge's case to help fight the enemy and make sure he is not trashed like some of the other fine judges in our county. Justices should not make laws. They should interpret laws. Bob Young knows that, and he holds firm to constitutional principles. That's what we need. The economy is in rotten shape because people don't know what's happening next. And so we need the kind of consistency, uh, the predictability, the rule of law kind of principles that Justice Young has brought to our state Supreme Court. Judicial elections always carry a lot of weight, but this one in particular, because the laws that are passed, they're not law until the Supreme Court says it's law. And so if people want to change laws, they have to go to the legislature. Justice Young understands it's not his job to rewrite law and based on what he thinks it is. It's his job to interpret the law as it's written. And so what we've got now, we've got a Supreme Court that's moved way to the left, very liberal, very activist. Bob Young's an anchor to bring it back to the conservative traditions of our founders. That's why we need him there, and we need to elect other justices who are going to support him on that court. This election is critical because if the House and the Senate pass the law and the governor signs the law, it's the Supreme Court that has to make sure the law stays there. If the Supreme Court, if we have people on the Supreme Court that are willing to uh, infuse their own philosophy into what they're doing, they can overturn laws, whether the legislature passed them and the governor signed them, they can just say, hey, that, we don't think you meant that or we don't think it's constitutional. The Supreme Court is the last word. It's the most important election this year. I think there's a lot of energy out there. People are being introduced to the political process that previously haven't been a part of it, and it's because they're concerned about the rule of law and the Constitution, and they should all vote for Justice Young.